Hey, fighters. Okay, so check this out. Julian Assange should not, I repeat, not be pardoned. Now, I know what you're thinking, but just hear me out for a second. So, for those of you who aren't familiar with Julian Assange, he is a journalist and founder of the media and news organization called WikiLeaks, which is most famous for unearthing the video of the United States military that took place in July 2007, where Apache helicopters mowed down Iraqi citizens, then did what's called a double tap and killed the first responders who came to help them later too, then claimed that they were being fired upon but were proven to be lying and attempting to both justify and cover up their murders. Now, since he posted that video, the United States has been using its worldwide influence to make Assange's life a living hell, both mentally and physically. So, in order to save the life of this historic journalist, whose health is said to be in peril and declining daily, by the way, people are looking to have the President of the United States of America issue him a pardon because they feel as though he was simply doing his job as a journalist, which is true. And that pardon would remove the more than a decade's weight of the world's superpower bearing down on him from Assange's shoulders, at least for now. However, in this particular instance, a pardon would come with two severely problematic precedents. A, it would force Assange to admit on the record, albeit under duress, that doing journalism specifically whistleblower-based journalism, is a crime, which is pure insanity, making it nearly impossible in the future to hold those in power accountable for their crimes done in the name of our government. And B, it would also force Assange to grovel to and beg the U.S. government, his abuser, who has been relentlessly attacking him unconstitutionally and seemingly at the behest of oligarchs, by the way, for forgiveness for simply doing his constitutionally protected job. That would be like, in order for you not to be both prosecuted and locked up, your abuser forces you to come back to them and apologize to the world, on record, for you informing everyone that they were being abusive. Then, the abuser will benevolently grant you freedom, but only if you promise to never do it again. Does that sound in any way healthy to you in any type of relationship? Of course it doesn't. It sounds dangerous and both massively and negatively consequential to the rights and freedom of the press worldwide. So, do you agree with my premise that Julian Assange should not be pardoned because that would both be admitting guilt and giving the U.S. government power over the First Amendment to choose who they want to be able to use it? You tell me. Don't forget to like and subscribe.